Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. Today I'm going to walk you through the really simple process of draining and refilling the gear lube on our 40 horsepower Mercury Tracker. It's not that tough to do. Let me go grab a couple of basic hand tools and then I'll walk you through it. Let's start by taking out the vent screw up top and that's just a flat blade screwdriver. Now that we've got it out, we just need to remove the one down low. One of the things you want to look for when you're draining out the fluid is that it's going to give you a very clear picture as to what's going on inside this particular drive. Now I know that this unit has been sitting for a pretty good while, so it's possible that they could have separated if it has water inside of the drive. But honestly, this doesn't look that bad. It just hasn't been changed in quite a while. And when you remove these, make sure you get the gasket. It either stayed on the bolt when you removed it, or it's probably still inside the housing. Now it's going to be important that you check these over because these look okay, but if you see any rips or folds or tears on them, you want to go ahead and replace them. Now guys, we know this one's probably in pretty good shape, but if you want to make sure, then this is a perfect time to go ahead and do a pressure test. This is a great tool. You can pressurize or pull a vacuum. In this particular case, we're going to bring it up to 14 PSI. Now we're going to let it sit for a minute, come back and check it, and as long as it stays at 14, we should be good to go. Now you need to make sure whatever pump that you use has the correct fitting on the end of it. This one is made by Mercruiser, so of course it's going to work on a Mercury unit. Now how often should you do this? I would say at least annually, and the best time to do it in my opinion is actually at the end of the season when you're going through the winterization process. Now, you just want to fill this up until it starts to run out the top. At that point, go ahead and reinstall the vent screw. Doing so will minimize how much lube actually escapes out the bottom. And you want to make sure that you already have the drain slash fill bolt with its gasket ready to go. That way you won't make such a big mess. Last but not least, we just need to clean it up a little bit before we plop her in the water. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Well, listen, if you need these parts or tools or anything else for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. But hey, if you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on next. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.